Oh, that's cool. What is this? Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We're checking out a, a new dump location that I was given a tip online from, from uh, Vicky Smith. So big shout out to Vicky, thank you. I just thought I'd go and check it out and see what uh, what's there. She sent me a couple of pictures and it looks like there's a lot of stuff that's been dumped. Um, but it looks like maybe there's some older stuff underneath the uh, all the crap. So I'm gonna go check it out and it's a beautiful uh, afternoon. Hopefully I find something. Okay, so found the trail. Gonna follow it uh, for about a quarter of a kilometer, so I'm told, and that should lead right to the bottle dump. I'm here already, and holy, look at all this crap here. Got tons of mason jars and old cans. Be careful, I'm not wearing the right shoes today. There's tons and tons of bottles and cans dumped all over the place. This is wild. I, would, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so I'm gonna put the GoPro on and show you guys my point of view while I attempt to clean up and sort and uh, hopefully find some gems in all this trash. Look at that, just like that, right on the ground there. Just a beautiful kind of perfume bottle. I need somewhere to put all this stuff. Guess I'll put them in the bag for now. Bottles everywhere here, just buried. I'm gonna need a place to kind of dump everything so I can keep track of All this, this is gonna need like several trips to. Mason jar. Barbecue grill. Whatever's ever been dumping here has been dumping for a long time. Some ketchup and medicines there. Gilby's mouthwash, maybe, or a whiskey. The cap looks like mouthwash. Try to separate the cans from the bottles here. Sorry I'm not talking as much, I'm kind of just like overwhelmed by all the junk here. LJ McGinnis and Co. We got here. It's like a pop bottle or a beer bottle, some type. Look at all these Bacardi bottles. Mouthwash, Bacardi. Looks like Windex there. Sanka coffee. Is that what these jars have been? The Sanka coffee. Oh, got some more of those 
green bottles. I'm assuming, oh, 7-Up. Look at that, Diet 7-Up. That's what those are. This dump would, it almost looks like it's from the 70s. Oh, that's another cool little bottle, kind of like a glue or shoe polish bottle. I have no idea. Look at this retro Diet 7 Up can. That's a cool little brown bottle. That's got some writing on it too. Whitehall. Never heard of it. Sepasol. I feel like that's something for a car. I could be wrong. By the time I post this, I'll probably have been wrong about that. Oh, that's cool. What is this? The Procter & Gamble Company, 1964. Okay, so we got a date on the dump. It's at least from the 60s. That's a really cool looking bottle. I'm gonna keep that. Tons of like retro lids here. Say Schwartz and be sure. <laughs> Looks like a peanut butter jar. Oh, Dominion Mason. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay. What is that? Is that, oh, what? what? That's an old uh, beater. Oh my gosh, that is completely rust covered. Oh, that's cool. All oh, the writing's still on it. A Cooper product by Pulvex Pine Oil Disinfectant. Made by William Cooper and Nephews Inc. Chicago, USA. Sweet. Oh, maple syrup. It's another one of those medicines there. I like those guys. There's the second one. I'm sweating pretty bad. It's uh, pretty warm right now. And as you can see around me, there's literally garbage and bottles and cans all over this part of this forest. I'm not prepared. I have my little, little bag. I can take some stuff out. Uh, this dump seems to be from the 60s, could be, Earlier, I know I dug down to 
this section right there and there was nothing really underneath it. Um, I'm honestly overwhelmed by all this trash. This is gonna like require hundreds of trips where I'm gonna have to let other people know about this place so they can come help clean it up because I honestly don't know how I can do this myself. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at. We've got all this over here. This is just all just surface layer bottles and cans and got these tiny medicine bottles and these bottles here and trash all over. This is the pit that I started digging. Um, this is unbelievable. Then to show you guys more, some other things that I found there, an old diet, 7-up seven, uh, seven diet there with a retro design and then just a ton more mason jars and bottles. And as far as the eye can see, there's just bottles in that direction. So this has been a dumping ground for a long time, which makes me sad. Um, I'll do my best to start cleaning it up. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. Really appreciate it. If you could uh, hit that like button, that would mean a lot. Um, we're getting close now to May 25th when I see my ENT. Hopefully get back in the water because, man, I'm sweating right now and I really wish I was in that cool ocean. 